on guys welcome back to another video my name is Ron and this is MotorTube if you're stopped by for the first time smash that subscribe button turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos and if you guys know where we're at if this looks familiar to you guys we are at street speed 707 717 I don't know. what am I saying so we got the Ram here we got the Hellcat hey I always get your name mixed up and say 707 because I mean I have a Hellcat you know like what's 717 that's your I know that's your area code now but we are at the house and uh, the small house. It's a detached garage, so. Man, this car, I mean. So it doesn't have a dash or it pops up, right? It does, yeah. So when you. Okay, how do you get in this car? You drive it, the whole thing will pop up. Okay. So if you were to. Uh, here, well, here's the key and you can start it. Same as, same as anything else, put in the brake and start button. And then uh, so down, you'll see what the screen. Where's goes. the start button? Uh, right down there in the middle, big red one. This. Yep. So there's the screen. Whoa. It 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 shakes. It's supposed to. Oh yeah. Wow. They kind of, McLarens tend to have kind of a little rough idle, really. And and can you? How do you flip this down where you uh, just? So you can just press the button here too if you want. And then is that how you usually race? No, I race with the full dash just because I like to look at tire pressures and everything. Um, and you click this. Cool too, yeah. That's this is insane. All right, let's go. Wow. And then do you even have navigation? Oh, you do. I mean, those are mostly for your HVAC controls and your. Oh, you know, well, we don't want to show where you're at, but um. So this is all carbon fiber. Yeah, all uh, all carbon fiber. And then. Carbon in this car. And then just uh, Alcantara everywhere. Alcantara. These seats are really comfortable. Yeah. And it's like it it doesn't go back, does it? It does. Yeah. There's A little bit. On the bottom right, they're kind of hard to use. Well. And then you got the paddle shifters are yep. long as, I mean, wow. And they turn with the wheel. They're not like the American paddle shifters, yeah. you know? That stay on the column. Yeah, that's like, okay, that's not even real. And these, so it comes with the colored key, no matter what color the car is? Uh, you can get a number of different key options. So you can get- Hold up, you got 717 on there, yeah, how? You just get a gray key, you can get a black one, you can get a carbon, fiber. you can get a gloss carbon fiber key. So that one's custom? Satin carbon. Yep, that one's custom. So that's match name, you're green. And you put 717? Yeah. Is it, it costs extra, right? The McLaren just did that for me as a gift, but. They love you, McLaren loves you. you. Get every, and get Chevy, every Chevy and McLaren yeah. love you. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I'm trying to make cool stuff. <laughs> wow, this is sick. Whoa, that's huge. What? What is this, a three, four, 450? 450, yeah. Oh, man. What are you doing, Steve? Look at your your truck compared to this. This can tell you. Hey, this can tell your house. Yeah, oh yeah, this can tell a house away. Hook it right up and go. Is it on E? What is it? It smells like E85. Is it, are you on E? No, it's a diesel. Oh okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this little truck compared to this. So we got the car all loaded up, We're ready to go. We're here. We're gonna say bye to the McLaren. All right. Hey, dude. Thanks so much for coming, man. No problem, man. Really Thank awesome. you for yeah, everything. Yeah. Appreciate it. Awesome car. Awesome car, Thank man. You. you too, man. Shocked me, that's for sure. Yep. We're uh, we're going to say bye to him now. Peace. All right, guys. So we are in New York now. Hey, do a quick pull. I'm All right, guys. We are here. It is so lit. Let me show you guys. Yeah. So, we left the car off the trailer last night. Let's turn it on. All loaded up. Alright guys, so we are headed home right now. Um, the trip has come to an end, so we're gonna go home and uh man it was nice meeting street speed 
he was so nice to bring me over his house and show us around real cool real genuine guy so I appreciate you if you're watching for uh, taking the time to you know make a video with me and get it, it was a good race Hey, who died? Somebody died? No, I think they're fixing power lines or somebody hit a power line. So we're on our way home and like, I think we're, are we in Pennsylvania? Yeah. I think we're on, in Pennsylvania, but we've been going uphill for like five miles now. Like we're in the like mountains or I don't know where we're going, but we've been, I don't know if you guys could tell, but like we're going uphill. like. This is from my view and we're going uphill and he's just blind, blinding those people in front of us. This is what we're averaging. Let's see. Now, this is what we're averaging. We were averaging 9.8 when he gave me the truck. Then I averaged 13.2 averaged and now 12.6. So you can kind of see that you don't know how to drive that well. <laughs> but wish us luck because uh, it's foggy, it's raining, we have a trailer. I thought you're the race car driver. We, listen, we have, we're have we in a Ram Breezy, <laughs> pulling a Halkeezy. <laughs> Shout out to all guy car reviews. <laughs> street the, speed just takes up. Shut up the Halkeezy. The Halkeezy, baby. Or street speed. Or street speed, too. So just making a quick stop to get some gas. Man, the roads have been terrible. It's raining, it's fogging. My God. Put some gas now in here. So the roads have been so bad out here. It's ridiculous. It's literally mountains. So we're going up and down, up and down, up and down, curving. It's it's raining. It's foggy. And it's all these semi trucks, and it's a it's a two lane highway, and all these semi trucks pass you going really really fast. I don't understand how fast they were going. I mean, I was doing like 55 and uh, like 60 max because it's a, it's really hard to go that fast with a with you know with a trailer, and the road conditions are just terrible. So pray for us, and uh, I said a few prayers so we could get home safe. I think uh, I think we got like six hours to go, so. Pump it up real quick. We're averaging 14 miles to the gallon. Sometimes it'll go down to like 13.9, but I'm very happy. And uh, the, the Hellcat looks good. Ready to roll. We are about to enter Detroit. Uh, we are in Ohio at the moment. Man, the, the roads have been terrible. This turned into a 15 hour trip just because of the rain and we got a trailer and 16 hours 16 hours but as you can see right there Detroit we're almost there we're about an hour away but you never know because it's raining we can't really go too crazy fast because it's raining <sighs> I don't know how we're surviving this but we're in the past three four days we've only slept a good six three, four hours it's three to five hours honestly no and they're not even lying like literally that's all we slept we're finally home and now we're gonna start the car well 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 we are back home the car is the filthiest it's ever been um this is gonna take a lot to clean. Tires still brand new. I mean, look at this. It's it's just filthy. Wow. You know, we were in a rainstorm and it was just crazy. Sheesh. Look at all this. We gotta talk now. Well, I'm back home now and. Had a good trip, safe trip. Um, so this trip was about three days. So the day I was leaving, um, I woke up at 7 a.m., got my wheels and tires, as you guys see in the video, went to my friend's funeral, 
and then we went and we drove all the way to Pennsylvania so that was about a 10 hour drive right we got there and then uh, we got there and we left here at like 10 p.m. we got there in the morning then we met up with Mike you know street speed and then uh we did a few videos and then uh, you know got pretty late and then after that uh, we headed to New York and then from there, I think we slept for about a good five hours. We slept, no, a little more. We, I slept at 4 a.m., woke up at 10 a.m. because I had to edit, and then we had to leave. And then from there, went to Michigan another 15 hours. And still, we're not, I'm still running on, like, literally six hours of sleep, which was pretty crazy. So, uh, we just got home and still haven't gotten sleep. And, uh, yeah, it, sometimes it's... You don't even get sleep, but that's basically what happened, and the trip was good. On the way here, it was just raining, and it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. It was just too much going on, honestly, and it was mountains going up, down, around, and it was, it was hard with a trailer. You couldn't see anything. There was no lights. Pennsylvania's kind of weird. The highway was so weird. It was just like two lanes, and all there was is a bunch of semi-trucks just passing you. It was we made it, so that's all that matter, and we're good to, you know. So, thank you all, every single one of my subscribers that have made this possible when I had called out Street Speed. And, uh, and you guys actually got, you know, in reach with him, and you know, he hit me up and all that. I appreciate all of you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, this would have never happened. You guys caught his attention, and that's how it even all started. Now, uh, we went, we took care of business, we got four W's, and, um... I'm happy, and uh, I wasn't happy that I couldn't get traction, even though I burned the tires, put the PSI down. The only thing we got to do is, uh, you know, do a 15-inch conversion or something like that because, uh, I don't know, we just could not get grip. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's going to be a big, big video, and it's a video that every single one of you guys is going to love. It is about the Hellcast, so just stay tuned for that. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be good. So. That's all I got for today. I mean, I'm tired. I don't know if I'm going to go to sleep. I'm probably going to go edit some videos for you guys. And uh, we'll see what happens. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos. And be part of the family. And I will see you guys next video. Make sure you guys spread love and stay positive. Peace out.